Stephen Ladd of the Artist Collaborative, Stephen and William Ladd. And we've been working with Glass Lab since, I think, 2009. And in the past, we've always made objects. You know, we started with a glass beaded glass grenade and moved into glass bombs and dynamite, all of these sort of objects of destruction. And then over the years, we've really wanted to work on a larger scale project with, with the Corning Museum. So we were invited to come to Paris, and it's very, very, very exciting for us to be here. It's can't really ask for a better location than the Decorative Arts Museum at the Louvre and the Courtyard by the Glass Pyramid. And over the years, I have been making these tiny beaded glass trees. So it's all of these intricate glass beaded forests, and we've wanted to go large scale. Big time, baby. Oh yeah, eight foot beaded tree, mama. <laughs> we thought this would be the perfect opportunity to sort of move in incremental steps to make that happen. We had two glass lab sessions and we wanted to work on doing the spectrum of color and three different finishes. So we wanted to work on opaque glass beads, like a metallic finish and translucent beads. We made aqua, we made blue, we made this black metallic, opaque white, but we just worked in every color that they had and worked in these three finishes. What's a Swedish, a good old fashioned Swedish overlay? I love it. It's one way. Already. <laughs> the metallic process was some sort of Swedish overlay process where they take the colored glass and around it, they drape this ball of metallic black and then sort of slice it open and open it up like a hat that goes over the bead and then coat the exterior of the bead. So they essentially have the color of the metallic on the inside and then open it and spread it around the bead so that the metallic is on the outside. I kept asking for a metallic finish, but what they ended up giving me was actually closer to what I really wanted, which was this sort of oil slick texture on the exterior of the bead. I was very surprised and excited that we got 15 made because I didn't know it was going to be possible, but Eric and the team are amazing here. Anything goes, everything's a possibility, and they never say no, they only say yes. Love Glass Lab. Love Glass Lab.